friends this is fecal emulsification of a cat tract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis after making the incisions 2% SPMC is injected into the anterior chamber and it is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility now a iterator of forceps is taken a puncture is made on the anterior capsule a capsular tag is raised and this capsular tag is held with the forceps go anticlockwise all around remaining at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated pupil and a continuous curvilinear capsular axis is performed and now hydro dissection 27 gas cannula BSS the fluid wave is passed under the anterior capsular rim it goes to the opposite equator the nucleus is depressed the fluid wave comes anteriorly along the equator the nucleus is mobilized and rotated and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO handpiece after this injection of 2% SPMC and here goes the tip of the FECO handpiece after removing some superficial cortical lens matter the handpiece is turned bevel is made up towards the cornea and then the the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and the nucleus is chopped. In grade 3, grade 3 plus or grade 2 plus nuclear sclerosis, chopping is just a piece of cake. It's very easy. And the cataract is usually brittle in these cases. After chopping the nucleus into several fragments, each fragment is emulsified using ultrasonic energy. In grade 3, in grade 3 plus, or in grade 2 plus nuclear sclerosis, you can use 50 to 60 percent ultrasonic energy. In this case, I used 60 percent ultrasonic energy, 45 ml per minute flow rate, and 450 millimeter of mercury vacuum and uh, here it is the nucleus and epinucleus is removed and then some amount of visco is injected and see how you can use a 23 gauge Simco to remove the cortex. Just use enough vacuum to pull this cortex to the center and aspirate when it comes at the center. Use vacuum to pull at the center and after it comes to the center you just apply more vacuum to aspirate and this is hydro polish and the posterior capsule is very nicely cleaned and now this is hydro implantation the lens goes into the capsular bag this is a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens the lens has gone into the capsular bag. The irrigating probe is used to dial the lens. There is some amount of lens matter in the... Yeah, yeah, it has come out. Friends, there are millions of cataract blind patients in the world. The aim of making these videos is to stimulate you every day, every single day, so that thousands of patients can get vision through your diamond hands and please do one more thing please influence thousands of youngsters to develop better expertise than what we have so that in the 
coming years, millions of patients can have excellent vision and they can make a difference in this world. And probable because the anterior chamber became very shallow. And this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. Anterior chamber is formed in this way. And then the integrity of the wounds are checked. There should not be any leakage from any side. And then the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.